Okay, so let's start by creating a git repo for this project. And you'll notice that we only have 16 files that the git system found. And that's because we have a git ignore file already prepared for us. So it's ignoring a couple of things here. And let's commit those. Nice. Okay. So now we want to take care of only the components that will be used for this application should be imported here and registered on the instance. So let's get rid of the grid. And since we'll use these, we'll keep them. All right, so let's remove everything in here inside of the V app tags so we can start from scratch. We will also be removing everything from here. And yep, so we can start now. All right, let me bring up the already built app that I have here and let's start by implementing the top toolbar here okay we'll switch to a dark app so let's create create a toolbar here and then we'll make it dark fixed and dense all right then we want a toolbar title and we're gonna add a here a V spacer. Then we want a button. And this is going to be sorry, this should be V icon. Okay. All right. So let's run the dev task. And see what it looks like over here. Cool. Um, there's this title. We don't really care about that. It will be removed when we use the NWJS integration. But if you wanted to change that, that should be on the index HTML. So let me show you the folder structure here. Index HTML, and we can remove that and change it to something else. Cool. All right. So next thing will be to add a container here. Let's call this the main area of our application. And this container will be fluid and have a class of padding all around to be zero. Okay. So remember, all this is the Vutify API, right? To create the, the layout for our app. Um, this is going to be a column. And inside of here, we will implement the list of remotes. This is what we will call each element on our list. 